Good day and welcome to another installment of the MECAD Minute. My name is Dion Legrancy and in this session I will be showing you how to do a complete uninstall of your SOLIDWORKS installation. It is recommended that you perform a clean uninstallation and reinstallation of your SOLIDWORKS at least once a year when upgrading to a new major version of SOLIDWORKS. In some cases a clean uninstallation and reinstallation of your SOLIDWORKS may also be required to resolve those errors that the normal repair procedure does not fix. Before you perform a clean uninstall of your SOLIDWORKS, it is important that you first take note of all the products and serial numbers used in this current installation. To do this, you can search RegEdit in your Windows search. Then launch the Registry Editor. Inside the Registry Editor, you can go to Local Machine, Software, SOLIDWORKS, Licenses and then Serial Numbers. Your serial numbers will be shown over here on the right. Take note of each product and serial number or you can simply take a screenshot. After this you can close the registry editor. Next, before uninstalling SOLIDWORKS, we first need to deactivate our SOLIDWORKS licenses on this computer. To do this, go to the drop down menu next to the help icon. Then, go to licenses and select deactivate to launch the deactivation wizard. Now although this is a recommended step, it is not required if you will be installing SOLIDWORKS again on the very same computer directly after uninstalling. So in this case, I'm just going to close my SOLIDWORKS now. To uninstall SOLIDWORKS, you can now either use your normal Windows installer or I recommend using a product such as Revo Uninstallers Free Edition or any other similar software. You can simply download the uninstaller from their website using the free download link. We are now ready to uninstall SOLIDWORKS as well as any other installations related to SOLIDWORKS. Simply select these installations and then select uninstall. The uninstaller will start the normal SOLIDWORKS installation manager. Here select all the currently installed SOLIDWORKS products for uninstallation. Under advanced options you can select change. Also select all of these options for uninstallation. However, just take care that if you've already downloaded your SOLIDWORKS service pack for the next installation, that you do not uninstall this location from your computer. Rather than just deselect download files and folders, or prior to uninstallation, move your downloaded files to another location on your computer such as the desktop. You can then click back to summary and select remove items. SOLIDWORKS will now begin to uninstall. After uninstalling SOLIDWORKS, you can use your uninstaller's built-in functions to search for any leftover folders, files and registry entries and then simply delete these. Once your uninstaller has returned any leftover registry items, you can select all of these items and then you can delete them. You can also select any leftover files and folders and delete these as well. After uninstalling SOLIDWORKS, there's still a couple of other products that must also be uninstalled. This includes Solid Network License Manager, SOLIDWORKS PDM Client, eDrawings and any other SOLIDWORKS products that can still be found on this computer. There's also a couple of other installations that you might uninstall. This includes Bonjour, all Microsoft Visual C++ installations and all Microsoft Visual Studio tools for applications installations. Use care when uninstalling these products as they may affect the working of other programs on your computer. However, I found that in most cases it should be safe to uninstall these products as they will be reinstalled with SOLIDWORKS as prerequisite installations. Once all SOLIDWORKS related applications have been uninstalled from the computer, it is recommended that we delete at least two SOLIDWORKS related folders from the computer manually. This includes the SOLIDWORKS data folder as well as the SOLIDWORKS CORB folder located inside program files. The last part of our SOLIDWORKS uninstallation process requires us to manually delete some SOLIDWORKS keys from the Windows registry. 
To do this, we once again search for regedit in the Windows search bar. Launch the registry editor. After uninstalling SOLIDWORKS, you will still find tons of traces of SOLIDWORKS throughout your Windows registry. However, for our purposes, we just need to delete three very important SOLIDWORKS keys from our Windows registry. Whenever you are making changes to your Windows registry, it is advised that you first take a full backup of your entire registry. To do this, right click on computer and select export. However, in this case, I'm not going to do a backup and I'm just going to continue to delete these three keys. Our first key is located underneath current user. Under current user, you can go to software and then you will find SOLIDWORKS. And I'm also going to delete the SOLIDWORKS back office. For our next key, we are going to go to local machine, software, and here you will likely find another instance of SOLIDWORKS. However, in this case, I do not have a SOLIDWORKS key. So we can now then continue to WOW 6432 node. In here, you will likely also find a SOLIDWORKS key if it hasn't been removed yet. If the key is still there, you can simply select the key and press delete. The uninstallation has now been completed. It is advised that you now restart your computer. After restarting your computer, you can do a clean installation of SOLIDWORKS using the downloaded installation media from the SOLIDWORKS website.